Adrian. <clears throat> Steve Wilkes uh, today, probably on three different occasions, touched on how important it was to shut these guys down in the run. Has that been a huge focus this week? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, they got two really good running backs, so uh, they do some really good things. Uh, very fast, you know, physical running back. So, I mean, they get they get that running game going, and it just opens up a lot of stuff for them. How influential is Steve Wilkes in the? It seems like the growth of your coverage skills has really taken off this season. How much has he influenced that? Uh, I think it's a lot. I think just the way that uh, I mean, he coaches us, the way he calls the game, and. Uh, just the way that we're able to execute, I think it kind of goes all hand in hand. How much of a headache is the German receiver Amon Ross and Brown for Europe? Uh, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, he's a big problem. I mean, just watch the film. I mean, he's electric, you know, can get the ball down the field, uh, move ball to short areas and just make plays happen. So, I mean, for us, uh, especially the secondary, we just got to know where he is at all times and, uh, and just know that golf likes to go to him. So. How are you going to stop him from getting yards after catching the ball? After you catch it, I got to tackle. <laughs> Good. Uh, I think you guys have known about Juwan Jennings' you know, intensity and kind of defensive mentality he has in the wide receiver position. He's getting a lot of attention for driving the guy into the, the gateway coolers. Um, do you, I guess, do you respect just kind of that ferocity he plays with? Could he be like an honorary linebacker? Oh no, for sure. I mean, you gotta respect, you gotta respect that, especially out of receiver. I mean, it's just the way that he's willing to block, the way he's willing to go across the middle. Uh, I mean, I mean, just the toughness and the energy that he brings to the team. Uh, I mean, just not to the offense, but to the defense as well. Like he, uh, I mean, he could definitely be a defender on the defensive side of the offense. So, and he do play defense like that. We talk about all the time. So, I mean, we just love his mentality on defense and. I mean, it just it kind of sets the vibe for how we're gonna play that play that game. Kyle was saying when he when uh, Juwan first got here, after a few practices, that he actually had to go to defensive players and say, "Look, this is just the way he plays. Right. This, he's not doing any. He's not being dirty. He's just pl playing to the whistle." And do you remember that? Did you, and you're pretty intense yourself. Did you guys ever get in little tussles over? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Juwan, Juwan, he'll get you. <laughs> yeah, if you don't be thinking about it at practice, but I remember one time the one laid me out. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds crazy, but he did. And I was like, wasn't expecting it. But I mean, he did. And I was like, damn. But uh, I mean, that's just the way that he goes. Like, I remember just like watching the film. And uh, every time Kyle goes on the film, I mean, he always just points you on out. Like, you know, I think he's doing this on purpose, but I mean, he's doing it to every guy that he lines up against, you know, on game day. So. I mean, you know, like that he's not, you know, he's not doing it on purpose. And I mean, he kind of he's tempered it down a little bit in practice. He don't do it as much, but he definitely still he still get out there and let you know. But yeah, he definitely don't do that no more. So. Dre, oh. uh, DeAndre Lenore is known as the spicy and scrappy. And how have you seen that really manifest into a, a very consistent and strong cornerback? Uh, I mean, I I love it in him too. Just the way that he the way that he texts every day. That's just how he is. You can tell it in his mentality. You can tell the way that he works. Uh, I mean, and you can see it on game day. I mean, he's just all over the field. And sometimes you think that's our third linebacker out there, just the way that he be laying guys out. But I mean, just, I mean, he's, and he's in that nipple spot and he's playing like a, you know, like a third linebacker. And I mean, we just got confidence in him just all around, just the way that he covered, the way he moves. And we know he's going to come in and, and tackle somebody in the box. So uh, I just, I mean, Demo, one of my favorite players on the team. So just the way that he plays, the way that he moves, I mean, I just, I like to see him grow. How impressive is it that he went from the outside to the inside and has still played at such a high level? Yeah, it just shows his versatility. Like, you can tell, like, just all his life he's been outside just playing football, just just, just playing, like, you know what I mean, just, just outside. So uh, you can just see just the versatility of, like I said, the way that he moved, the way that he, his ball skills, uh, just the way that he catches on to things fast and then just the aggressiveness, like, with it, it just shows just kind of like, you know, just a little bit, not, you know, just kind of like the read people sometimes I do, and you can just tell, like, that he was just the outside kid, so that's pretty cool to see. You talked about how loud it was in, in the stadium on Saturday. Is that something that you registered um, while you were running around after the pick, or, or do you black out in, in those moments? So as a player, when, when do you engage? I was blacked out. I ain't gonna fake. <laughs> I was blacked all the way out. But, uh, I mean, we do need Faithful to get loud, though. Uh, I know just throughout the game, 
it was just kind of you know you know when you when you win it and it's going good you know you hear all you, everything is loud and you can't really hear much but uh, just throughout the game you know when it's going away and not going our way you know you can hear it die sometimes and then Christian will bust out a run or something happen and it just go crazy so uh, that's what we that's what we're trying to get just you know throughout the whole game next week and just that that electricity that you know that you can hear and feel and sparks of the game we just trying to get that to be the whole game. From a tactical standpoint, that last drive, it, before the snap, the pick, how much do you think that that did help the defense, the fact that they had to go extreme silent count on, on that last drive? Oh, yeah, no, it was huge, man. It was huge. Like, it just, i say probably about the third quarter of the game, just the momentum and everything. Like, uh, you can hear the crowd just get louder and louder more into the game. And then just on that drive, uh, I mean, it was so loud, they couldn't even, the offense could barely even function. So, I mean, it's it's been huge. Great. You know, you guys' standard for defense is very high. It's just what you guys have done in the past. So when people look at, you know, against Green Bay, it's not like they get past you, but, you know, Jones had 100 yards. That hasn't happened for a while. You guys are having sacks. I mean, do you feel like there's another, le another level you, have, you guys have to reach? And, I mean, were you guys not thrilled with that performance? Or how? Uh, I mean, well, first, Aaron Jones is a real, real good back. Like, he, the way that he runs the ball, he don't run the ball like a little guy. You know what I mean? He runs the ball like he's the biggest guy on the field. So, I mean, he's he's one of them guys that, you know, you just got to give your respects to uh, at the end of the day. And uh, But, I mean, are we worried about, you know, Detroit running the ball? Like, I mean, it's our job to go out there and stop. We're not, we don't look at our last game and say, oh, just because they got some, a few runners that, you know, we're worried, you know, they got all those runs on the same play. So if we can stop that play, it's probably gonna eliminate the majority of the runs that they had. So, um, but I mean, it's just, you know, that that's that was a good team as well too. So, you know, it goes with a little bit of just, you know, understanding the fits, you know, doing our job and then just playing hard as we can so that, you know, even if it's not the perfect call, we can make it a, you know, great call. So, I mean, we don't panic about what happened last week. I mean, we just live and learn from it and uh, correct our mistakes and just keep moving forward and just being who we are. Dre, this is your fourth NFC Championship appearance in uh, five seasons. Uh, what do you feel like that experience has helped you this year compared to what you were uh, in your first NFC Championship game against Green Bay? Yeah, that's helped a lot. Uh, I mean, you kind of just know what to expect. Like, you know the jitterbugs that's going to come. You know everything that's going to come with it. But I think the most crazy thing is well, uh, just from rookie year to now is you just see the, you just feel like it's more important now, you know what I mean, versus rookie year, you're not really sure what's going on, but now that I've been in it a few times, it's like, all right, I've been here before, I know, you know, I know what it takes, uh, I know how we got to play, uh, I know how I got to play, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, just got to make sure we get the job done this year. Is there a game this season that you're most proud of the team for, you know, maybe coming back? Uh, I mean, it was a couple games this year I feel like we were battle-tested on. Uh, honestly, just for me, I mean, it was probably that last game, just the way Brock went down when we needed him to and go and and, and win that draw for us and then, then how the game ended. Uh, I think it just shows a lot about the team. Like, it wasn't going perfect all day for the offense, but, I mean, it's never going perfect all day for anybody. So you got to make the play whenever it's time for you to make the play. And they made the play going down to give us – you know, send that lead to give us the confidence that, hey, like, we got to go get this stop. And I think that was just exactly just how the season, not how the season's been going, but it just shows the character of man and how bad we won in the building. So. On the broadcast, you That's told fine. Johnny Hahn, I'm going to mess around and get another one, talking about interceptions. Did you feel like you were due for another one? Uh, Yeah, I do. I feel like I'm due for another one, too. So <laughs> <laughs> hopefully yeah, we're going to see it. We're going to see what happens. I think it, hopefully it will. Was there something Love was was doing that indicated that you were could maybe get another one? Uh, not really, not really. I just just a good good old feeling. So <laughs> hopefully right. we get that feeling again. Thank, Thank you, Dre. Thank you, I appreciate it.